A good morning, ladies and germs. Here we are again. Okay, let me get this camera a little bit down. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you see that beauty right there, right there. Okay, uh, I was getting ready to sit down and have lunch or dinner, depending on when you watch this. And I was um, watching a video, as we all would only do. What else are you going to do on YouTube but watch videos? Besides make them. But that's not the point. The point is that I was called out on a cute little challenge or attack. And I think this is really cool because it does not involve food. It involves talking, which I am really good at. And it's just, you know, I was like, well, I'm hungry. I'm fat. I'm going to get hungry. So I figured we have a little lunch, a little talk, and, I, and we're going to get in this for the first stop. As you can see, that nice juicy, oh, look at that beautiful pizza. It's thin crust, Alfredo sauce with chicken and mushrooms. Oh, I love it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I love pizza. Mmm, it's the best thing ever invented. I don't care who invented it. Mmm. 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 Uh, so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so good, baby. Mmm. 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 Okay, let me just finish this one up. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's so good. Sorry guys, I gotta eat something. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, in this quarantine tag, I asked ten questions. I'll put the description, the ten questions down below. If you're hearing this, you want to say, you want to participate, come on in. Mm. But I do have a list of people I want to call out. No. Yeah, I have these sheets. <laughs> I still use them. Questions are. Ten questions, we're going to go through them as I eat. How has work changed for you? Well, hmm. <laughs> Mmm, oh, that's so good. Or hasn't changed for me because a, mm, I'm a stay at home wife anyway. I keep the house going. We do the cooking, the cleaning, the laundry. And I know that in this modern age, we're supposed to go. You know, we're supposed to be outside and be ambitious, but I'm, I like baking. I like cooking. And I don't mind folding the laundry. I don't mind cleaning the dishes. I kind of like cleaning. I mean, is it wrong to like it? You know, it's like, I like to do that. You know, so no, I don't work outside the house. But that makes me backwards, okay. But you will do what you want to do. I'm not here to judge. You don't judge me. I'm a stay at home wife. How has home life changed for you? Well, I'm not as lonely anymore. <laughs> oh my God. We were getting such arguments. We don't hang out together, we don't do nothing together. Always tired. <laughs> We've gotten so many things done. The backyard home projects, things that, I mean, if you've been saying, I want to do all these home projects, you should have gotten them done. We got them done. So, 
Our home life has definitely improved. Do you know anyone who tested positive? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, and this gonna require a couple of bites of pizzas. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. Mm, that is good stuff. Mm. We know four people. You got that right. Four. Three women, one man. The man gone. Um, one friend recovered, no problem. Another friend recovered and relapsed, so don't tell me you can't get that a second time. And the other one tested positive for antibodies. So you're talking convalescent serum from there. And Anyway, hold on. So, for me, the numbers are not overinflated, they're underreported. It's real, it comes out, it comes out to pill. Um, if you get it, you don't recover from it. You have, um, even the ones that fully recover, you have these strange symptoms, things that were wrong with you that have never been wrong before. Um, it has really this sickness, this illness, it, it changes something inside your body. And if you get it, you're basically you're going to be sick for life. You, you'll be sick for life. So. And there's no cure, and there's no treatment, and we don't have a vaccine. So when they say wear your mask, wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't say six feet apart. Let's think of it this way. Stay six feet apart or go six feet under. Choice is yours. I'm keeping my butt home. What is your toilet paper situation? Much better now. <laughs> you see, <laughs> we were not prepared. Well, we weren't, we weren't. We already had stockpile of food. And that's because the last time um, Dipshit decided to close the government which means we have to go to work. We didn't get paid for it for two months. Yay, that was so much fun. Now, true, at the end, you get all your money back. Hunky dory. But in the meantime, rent's got to be paid. It's got to be paid. Everyone worked with us. Everyone was fine. The person we were renting at the time uh, informed us the uh, rent is due by the 5th. If not, you've got to evacuate the premises. The rent is due on the 1st. And by the 5th, if we had not paid, we got to evacuate the premises. Yeah. So there was a no-go with that. You know, you want a piece of crust peanut? <laughs> yeah. The doggy likes a little crust pizza. Oh, why not? But anyway... So that's why we stockpiled the food. We never thought to stockpile toilet paper. Oh my God. All I could think of is this stuff gives you a fever, not the shits. You're getting the wrong end. You should be getting you know, things like uh, cold medication and, and the, those well-born tablets and those, those things to clear up your sinuses and stuff, you know. Things to keep your immune system healthy. Yeah, and then the, three weeks later, guess what's flying off the shelf? <laughs> the well-born. <laughs> we went to get some more, and we were only allowed to have two packages per person. Yeah. 
So that's the CP situation was pretty bad. Um, we have friends to give us some, and then the minute we could, we got we we got a good little pile now. We ain't going through that no more because there's a second wave coming, people, and it's gonna make the first one look like a bike ride in the park. And what is your grocery store situation like? Oh. It, it looks weird. It, it does. It looks weird. There are some things that stock and some things that are just barren. And it really, really looks strange. Uh, the rationing of food, which is really weird because I live in farm country. <laughs> it's like we grow the shit here. <laughs> and they're rationing the food. And I'm like, you know, we're only allowed to get like two of something or three of something. It's no longer any, you know, just take whatever you want as much as you want of it. You know, I mean, they still do that with like those little, like a little box, something like hamburger helpers or, okay, those ramen noodles, those eight pack, let's see, the no, the 10 pack that you get for like $3 that, you know, yeah, we're allowed two boxes of that, of the big, yeah, and we're in farm country. Okay, so we're, we're rational. Uh, what is your city like? And they've lost their ever loving mind. Yeah, no one here is quarantining. Not a single one of them. <laughs> oh my god, the people here are losing their minds. Then they wonder why the hell we're in a new hot spot. Mm -hmm. You should see our death rate. It's like, well, the numbers aren't high. The numbers aren't high as New York. We've only had 100 people die today. Well, if you're only a couple hundred thousand, that's a lot of people. New York had 8 million, almost 9 million people. They were losing 3,000 a day, I think was their the highest point. It was a thousand people. It was large, okay. <laughs> it was a lot of people. But there were like eight to nine million people there. We're only a couple hundred thousand. So to lose a thousand people, that's a, that's a lot of people. You know, it's not a lot of us. Okay. If you have kids, well, you don't have kids, but if you have kids, what is the situation like? Unless she's keeping something hiding from me, we ain't got kids. What are some of the negative things that have come from this? Negative. Oh, well, when push comes to shove, I learned how, on one hand, how horrible the human race is. How self-centered and, and uncaring and just the human race is a horrible race. And I learned that quickly here. Example, I, I listen to a YouTuber called Nurse Emily. I advise you to listen to her. E-M-I-L-Y. Mm -hmm. Nurse Emily, she is a registered nurse in Tennessee. You can ask her any question and she'll answer it. And she doesn't, she doesn't sugarcoat anything, but she's not gonna hype it up either. You know, she's gonna tell you just plain English. Anyway, her neighbor has a child with a very specific dietary need. He can't have anything with gluten in it. She's got to be one of those gluten-free, uh, you know, everything, all his foods. There are only two kind of baby foods that he can eat. Only two. And they weren't on the show. And it's like, if you're buying up all the baby food, example, you're probably taking the only food someone else can eat. 
So if you don't need it, don't take it from someone else. And that's really just, that's what this pandemic taught me, that human beings, we're not very good people. We're not. Uh, what are some positive things that came from this? The, you know. And I know, I know it's real bad. And what could positive, what positive thing can we think of that come from this? Well, I can think of a couple. <laughs> I know it's so weird. I learned, and this is a lot of self-learning. Oh, see? I hung out by the pool when I had it up. <laughs> it was fun. I'm getting my damn pool back, by the way. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Positive things. I learned I didn't need as much as I need. I thought I needed. And I'm sure you lived on a whole lot more less. You lived a whole lot less for the past three months than you ever thought you could have. And we don't need the glitz. We don't need the glam. We need a family. And that's right here. So, yeah, I learned the positive things that came from COVID that we don't need to rely on oh well, we don't need to rely on the government at all I mean look what dipshit's been doing nothing <laughs> you know it's like we've been basically taking care of ourselves so to so everyone else who already knew that <laughs> oh that's what you've been talking about now I realize it I don't need as much um, material things as I thought going to a mall is not even an issue anymore um if i wanted to do something busy go out in the garden till up the land or you know take up the weeds um there's mowing to do there's uh landscaping to do and when i get my fucking pool back i'm dipping in that motherfucker too <laughs> so this there's a lot um it, it show you know what covid showed is that how much I love my wife, and how much she loves me, and how much we want to do to each other, um, do good for each other, like, you know, just small little things like making breakfast in the morning, or, you know, or making something that I know that she really likes, like waking up to smell of bacon frying. <laughs> she likes that. <laughs> you know, just small little things make each other happy. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to linger on that too much. And how has your neighborhood changed? Well, it hasn't. It has stayed just the same as it was. A bunch of cold people that don't like to talk to each other. Well, except my neighbor, um, his wife came back, I don't know where she was, but she came back a few weeks ago and she is lovely. And um, we've had a good talk. Uh, so she's friendly, but other than that, everyone else just keeps themselves, you know. It's sad, I find that sad. We should talk more. We should know how to be one another. Stop being afraid of each other and talk to each other. I mean, you don't have to be up in their face looking their chins or nothing, but <laughs> like, oh. but yeah. So that's my, that was the, the quarantine tag. That's my quarantine tag. Okay, so who else am I going to tag? Let me pull this up. You know who I think is a good talker? I know this person's a good talker. And this person would be great for this. But one, I'm gonna get an immense amount of hate because he, the person's messy as all get out. Oh my God, I'm gonna so, 
Okay, I'm a teeny tiny channel and they are huge. But you know what? Nick Akato, you are a fabulous talker. Um, so I think I want to see him do the quarantine 10. Um, body twins. Yes, definitely the body twins. Uh, they would be good at this, good for talking. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Uh, I'm going through my list right now. <laughs> okay, I don't think them. I don't think. Ah, Chrissy P, the PR gang. Come on over. I want to call you out, too. This could be so much fun. Okay, who do we want? Who do we want? Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Let's see. Uh, they didn't That's my last one. So. Ah. TCG fam, TCG fam, yeah, I know you could do this. If you want to eat some, eat some. You don't want to eat nothing, don't eat nothing. No skin off my apples. Okay, who do we want to do then? Southern Snackers, Southern Snackers, this would be good for you. Have a little nosh, a little talk. We all can do this. Okay, who are we going to go? Let's see, Ginger Snap, you already been cool. Let's see, let's go up there, okay. Let's see, I'm looking for one other person. One other person. Let's see, not there, not there. Where are you? Okay, bear with me, people, bear with me. Okay. Let me get this over here. Let me get this over here. I'm just going to have to type this in. Um, where is it? Ah, there we go. There they are. Two fluffy bearded men. I just signed up to their channel. They are really great. They are so much fun. And if you ever have a chance to see them, they're fun. They're fun. Anyway, again, everyone I called out, oh, I better listen to this back again. Maybe I forgot who I called out. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put this all, all in the description below. Uh, come on up. Come on over. Have a good time. Uh, the COVID tag. Uh, the COVID tag. Oh, my God. The quarantine tag. Ten questions. You don't have to eat nothing. I only had two pieces of pizza. Dang. Anyway, that's life. So uh, that was fun. That was a cool tag. Uh, we're going to do something else eventually. I was wondering what I was going to do today, if I was going to do any videos. Ta-da! We did what? <laughs> so, as we always say, we're going to prepare, we're going to hope for the best. I hope for the best. We're going to not be stupid, prepare for the worst. And I guarantee you kids, we're all going to land somewhere in the middle. Till next time. Bye. <laughs> I want to eat my pizza now. <laughs>